Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, what happened to my hair? Okay. Hello. Hello. I just had a, a old student of mine from like, I don't even know y'all, like 12 years ago, reach out to me and she's gonna come to the event. How exciting. So yay, I'm excited when that happens. Awesome. Oh, there is Miss Tori. Come on in everyone. Um, okay, come on in, everyone. Welcome, 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 welcome. Um, okay, hello, 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 hello. Okay, um, I uh, want to say a couple of things. Um, if you, um, if you're coming to the event. Uh, after today, if you need anything to do with the event, please reach out to support at actorsfasttrack.com. Some of you guys got emails, uh, saying that, uh, you know, are you coming to the event? You already have a ticket. Don't just ignore that. There was a glitch in the system. Uh, if you know for sure you RSVP'd, then uh, you're fine. Uh, there was a glitch in the system. And some of you guys have more than one email with us. So if you have more than one email with us, then that's usually the issue. It's like, it, you know, some of you guys have like more than one email in our system. So it doesn't separate you by your name it separates you by your email so if you're getting a separate uh link uh, you know then it just means that we don't have you but if you're not sure that you rsvp please please rsvp to support at actorsfasttrack.com or um you know if you're not sure whether you have a ticket just reach out to support at actorsfasttrack.com and obviously once the event starts on Friday, if you email me, I'm not going to answer you. I'm on stage. It would be like me emailing you when you were on stage acting, expecting for you to answer me. It's not going to happen. So if you are emailing me while I'm doing the event, not going to happen. Okay. I won't be looking at my emails while I'm on stage. Okay. Just to make really clear because I've gotten like, I get a ton of emails from you guys, which is great. And, you know, some of you guys are clients and I've asked you to send me your, um, your pitches if you're a client and I, and I'm trying my best to, to answer those. Uh, but just know if I'm not answering them right away, it's just, uh, you know, I, I, you know, during this time I always get slammed, I get slammed with emails. So, um, yeah. Uh, also Sarah will be at the event. Um, she is going to be handling, uh, talking to people that want to work with us. Um, not so much the, uh, the ins and the outs of the event as she has in, uh, past years, the ins and the outs of the event, like I can't find the link or I, you know, reach out to, um, and we're going to have a whole team at the event, by the way. So at the event, there's going to be a whole team. They will be introduced to you. Um, so they were, they'll all be there to help you while I'm on stage talking, while I'm on stage interviewing our panelists and stuff like that. So um, 
Yes. Uh, tomorrow, right after the challenge, we are cutting off all ticket sales um, because we have to make sure that our team has the correct list for people who are in what room and all of that. So, so if you are still interested in coming to the event and you have not bought your ticket, please do that as soon as possible because we are solidifying all those rooms and getting all the lists done. We have a really, and also we have sent out confirmation emails and texts to all of you to confirm that you're there. About half of you have confirmed back to Regina. So if you haven't confirmed back to Regina Perone, is Re Regina, are you here today? I don't even know if she's here. Um, uh, if, if you have not confirmed, not us here. If you haven't confirmed back to Regina that you're coming, just confirm. She's just trying to confirm uh, uh, that everyone is coming, okay? Also, um, tomorrow is a lot of uh, happening. We're doing the rehearsal after, and um, I'm getting my hair done, you know, all that shit that happens the day before the show. So uh, tonight is really my last chance to take a look at your pitches. So if you haven't had a chance to post your pitch, please do that. That's your last assignment. Tomorrow, there won't be any assignment. We're just going to be, uh, you know, closing up. You guys can ask me questions, that sort of thing. Several of you guys um, are, um, um, well, not several, but a few of you guys have scripts um, that scripts and ideas and things like that, that you're going to be pitching in your pitch. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. 90% of our guests on Sunday are producers. So, you know, if you have a fully realized uh, script, pitch deck, the whole nine yards, and you want to pitch, um, absolutely, by all means. Um, we're going to have producers in every room. I do have um, uh, about four people pitching ideas. And so that's really exciting. We also have um, uh, several clients that are producers and are pitching. In fact, one of our clients is actually pitching one of our other clients' movies at AFM. And if you don't know what AFM is, it's American Film Market. It's one of the hottest tickets in town. And one of our clients is actually pitching another client's movie at AFM uh, at the end of the month, which is super, super duper exciting. So, um, you know, that's really, really cool. All right, good. So, um, yeah, I think that's all I want to say today. I'd really like to just take some questions from the audience today. Uh, I've been seeing some really great stuff. Thank you for everyone for sending it and posting it. Um, thank you so much. And I'd be happy to take some questions from you guys. Uh, it's support. Oh, thank you. It's support at actorsfasttrack.com. Support at actors. And, and also for you guys that are clients, that is the what for anything you guys need. Um, you know, when is the mastermind, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is now the, the email for y'all. Okay. This is who is going to be answering your emails. Her name is Jackie, J-A-C-K-I-E. Uh, if, if you want to call her by her name, that's her name. Um, and she, for you guys that have been dealing with her, you know, she is a delightful human being. Uh, we're so happy to have her on our team. So, you know, um, she's just her, uh, I've been reading her emails that she sends back to you and she's just so sweet and so helpful and we really appreciate her. So uh, yeah, let her know whatever you need. She's ha she's there for you guys. Okay. Hey, Mod Arts, how are you? A little sick still, but I'm, but I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. getting better. Um, I had a question about uh, the thing that I did with uh, first going from the strong, powerful woman then to the bookish girl and then putting on my glasses and getting my book. Uh, is is that good? Did you like that? Yeah, I did like it. I did like it. I thought it was great. Yeah, thank you. You're I'm going to write the rest of the pitch and I'm going to post it this night. Yeah, great. Good. Post it tonight. 
So um, I can take a look at it. I'll, I'll be looking at some emails. I'll be looking at some pitches tonight and then I will be looking at some pitches tomorrow morning early, uh, early on East Coast time. Um, uh, and then probably if I have some time, it depends on how long the rehearsal runs with our team. Uh, we're going to have a fantastic team. We have, I just printed out the, um, the bios for all the panelists. So I have that here and the questions I'm going to be asking them on Saturday. The panel is on Saturday. Uh, okay. Awesome. Thanks, Maude. Who else? Yeah. Abrick's car is driving itself. Y'all. <laughs> okay. Uh, who else has a question or wants to do their pitch? What's going on? Hi. Yeah. Hi, Chris. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> First time. Okay. All right. I'm all, I'm all shook up. <laughs> yes, you are. Okay. Well, hi. Just a minute. <laughs> hi. Thank you all for coming. My name is Christopher Pan. I'm the mystical villain, a cross between Steve Van Zandt and Gary Oldman. I play the aging rocker, the sorcerer, the vampire, the seductive psychopath, the tough cop, the straight ballet conservatory teacher. As a child, I was painfully shy, and the way I came out was by playing these crazy, eccentric, dramatic characters, and my classmates would laugh. So every day at the end of school, I would do this sort of stand up. In fact, I used to stand up on the Bunston Burner science table and sing out loud, impersonating Elvis with song and dance, and the teacher would come in and send me to detention. I'm pinned for Gladiator 2, but I'm waiting for the strike to end to finalise travel and shoot plans. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building. Thank you very much. That's cute. I love it. I love it. I love it. That's perfect. That's Good. perfect. Yeah, you guys, listen, that's a sad deal. I hate when, right? I, I had that happen during COVID too. I had someone book their first TV show. Um, and then and then COVID happened. And I had Chris be like literally getting ready to go to Malta to shoot Gladiator 2 and then the strike happened and I hate that I'm so I get so upset for you guys when that shit happens and so especially yeah. like Chris who you work so hard on building this relationship and to have like that happen so hopefully it'll all be worked out and it'll all be perfect um and we'll all live happily ever after. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Chris. You. Thank you, Valerie. Hey, Toreen. Hi. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Um, can I read you my pitch? Yes, I'll you can. Painting it around again. Okay. Hi, I'm Toreen Garrick. Are you looking for that character that's brutally honest? I'll say, my friend would really like you. He loves fat women. Or I can be just a brute, like Naniska from The Woman King, Ellen Ripley from Alien, or Sarah Connor, but always played with a smile. <laughs> I'm a triple threat with a soprano voice, so can close the last night of the proms. I've written a play about a female warrior called Nanny of the Maroons a short film, and I've had an anthology of poems published called Jamaic Spear, <laughs> written in Jamaican Patois. My mother said, get a proper job. So prove my mum wrong and offer me a proper job in one of your upcoming projects. Thank you for listening and thank you for your time. Way better, <laughs> way, way, way better. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, that was great. That was great. Um, there was something that you said in your old pitch that 
was it i think it was but always with a smile it was about a character right that you said yeah. you're on okay just yeah, I said sorry go on no go ahead i said i played um bullies and gang leaders too but always with a smile oh okay good good okay great okay great okay i love it now much Thank better you. it's Thank it's it's much more um it's much like you know, you always want the person, I mean, in this instance, you're not going to get that, but you always want the person on the other end of you to go, oh, like, you know, which means like, oh, I know what to do with you. Like, it's like that period on the end of the sentence, right? And so that was good. That was great. Okay. Bye. Okay. Perfect. All right. <laughs> BJ. You saw my 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 comment on your thing, right? Yes. Okay. Did you read what I wrote back? Yes. I no. was reading because I'm still in the refining process, but I think this is my scene one, take three. Okay, great. And I just finished it like maybe an hour ago, so I'm going to be reading it, but by Sunday, I'm good. Okay, good. But I'm going to tape it this afternoon because I am finally starting to feel like a human being after going and getting some good medicine to kick whatever the hell it was I had. Okay, great. But anyway, so here goes. Okay. Hey, I'm BJ Whelan Doucette, and I'm that smart assy comical, Deb Messing, Bette Midler daughter of Professor McGonagall. I can be giving you the giggles the whole time I'm casting a spell. You can catch me as a murder victim ghost, a funeral home director, a clairvoyant seeing ghost, and a silent Bob waitress. Now, I'm not a cougar, but I am a lioness. So uh, how about grabbing a cup of my hot Lana strange brew? Cheers, y'all. Yeah, way better. I think it, I mean, I totally got that it was like, you know, you were like, I, um, to be or not to be, that is the question, right? Like out, after each sentence, it's almost like you were checking in with me, even though I wasn't there when you did it before. And that's why I was right? like, oh, it's just because she's not memorized. But then when you said also, I was trying to like bring it together. And I was like, yeah, that's what I got. It wasn't that. So it, it came yeah. off as a lack of confidence about what you were saying. And I'm sorry, yeah, okay. I read your comment, but like now, yes, that's it. Well, I mean, I understood where you were coming from. And I said, oh, hell yeah, I was reading the damn thing. <laughs> I had just finished writing the mofo. So, yeah. you know, what the Yeah, hell? it was coming off as like, I'm not sure I believe this, right? And I was like, yeah. I was like, well, this isn't that woman that I've been, the confident woman I've been seeing. It's not her. So what's going on there? And I knew you had not been feeling well. And I was like, oh, oh no, I, I think it's just that she's not memorized. But it, yeah, now I see it. So it's good. I still feel like crap, but that's beside the point. <laughs> yeah. I'm better I, than yesterday. <laughs> good. Well, that's good. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, BJ. That was great. Was that one better? Oh, yeah. Way better. Okay, so it works for what I'm going to be needing, and I may just hone just a little bit more between now and then, and I'll send the, the retake. Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, cool, Ben. I have you in New York. Is that correct? Uh, Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, thank you. Hey, Karen. Uh -huh, thank you. I Hello. Hello. Um, I was just wondering if there's anything you thought I should change about mine. Um, I don't think so do you want to just do it again for shits and giggles? Yeah, um, because I was thinking the only thing I was thinking was that maybe like I say the languages I speak in the languages I speak, maybe, or is that uh, <laughs> I should keep it in English so people know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I would keep it in English probably. All right, hang on, let me <laughs> bring <it> up. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> yeah, um, all right, let me bring it up quick. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I'm Kara Kluber. I'm a meticulous, compelling female humanoid, though I often play aliens and monsters. But regardless of species, I get what I want, no matter what it takes. Special skills of mine include accents, character voices, creature performance, writing, and I'm conversational in Spanish, Japanese, and Norwegian. Some movies you may have seen me in, but probably didn't recognize me in, include Aliens in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and Captain Marvel, and an elf in the movie Bright. I've also played humans in various TV shows, films, and theatrical productions, including the very sassy Janet Witt in Full Method. So if you're in need of a tall woman to play a clever survivor, a peculiar extraterrestrial, or a man-eating werewolf, give me a call. I'm located in the Valley, just north of LA, and I'd love to work with you. Awesome. I just want to <laughs> double check. I think I, I know I have you in LA, but I just want to double check. Yeah, I do. Um, I, I think it's great. I mean, I, I think it's great. I mean, you're the only one that's talking about being an alien. I mean, I just, think <laughs> so I think that's great. And, and I asked you this before, but you, have you done video games? Uh, no, I have not. I would love to though. Yeah. I think we, you need we, to we, we met, yeah. We talked about mocap and yeah, know, yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, write down Tom Keegan. I think I told you that name. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And um, have you taken a class at all, like with mocap vaults? Uh, no, I have not. So that might be a good investment for you because yeah. um, because because the guys that are teaching that um are connected uh, 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 so i would they teach in la they teach in london and la mocap vaults and um uh it would put you in front of people that would see you and then you know because like i've done a few video games and i've also done like movies with monsters in them and um uh you know, and like the guys and gals that play those monsters and the like, you know, they do that. They make the people that do video games, like a lot of the people that are doing video games, they're making a living doing video games. Mm -hmm. And hopefully with the strike, because we did vote to strike, they haven't mm -hmm. said whether we're going to strike or not. But if they, if we strike on this, which we definitely should. Yeah. I voted uh, in favor of it. <laughs> good. Yes, you please. Because if we do, you're you could make. I mean, this is like the highest grossing part of our industry. You could make so much money because Ooh. if you start to make, I mean, it already pays a thousand a day. That's minimum scale for a video wow. game. But if you're making residuals, oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, if you're making residuals off that, like these people are making a uh, billion dollars opening weekend. Right? Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. So we that's right. Wonderful. Damn. Yeah. I'm I'm just wondering if I can go get back pay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's mine. Cause you know, it's like you know, it's a lot. I mean, I, the, the first video game I ever did, I was a lead and I memorized a phone book and I made like $16,000, but they made a billion. Jesus. I know. So <laughs> you go, shit, we are really getting screwed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Hopefully yeah. we'll fix that up. Yeah. I mean, I definitely think you should definitely make that. Um, and by the way, your two major casting directors for in LA for video games are Emily Schweber Emily. and Lisa Fields. Uh, how do you spell Schweber? S C H W E B E R. Is it there? Is there a C in there? Um, I should know that. I think it's yeah. It's there's a C. It's S C H. Okay. Yes. Yeah. It's S C H. Yeah. Gotcha. I and then who's the other one? Emily's <laughs> cast me in like seven things. Um, <laughs> uh, Lisa Fields. Fields. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Duly noted. That's how I. Emily is like someone that is it was it looks like one of my major fans in Los Angeles. She cast me in a lot of things, but that's how I got to Tom Keegan. 
<laughs> so she's and a Tom, smart lady. <laughs> yeah, and Tom Keegan's like the leading video game director in the world. The issue Ooh. with working with Tom Keegan for my first two games um, oh. was like, now it's really hard to work with other people because I worked with the best first. Mm, mm-hmm. And, you know, but yeah. <laughs> he spoiled but Emily's you for a good else. person to know. Also, Emily's office which is on Little Santa Monica, um, that that Santa Monica Boulevard that's, you know, like runs parallel to big Santa Monica Boulevard mm-hmm. after after near Century City. That's where her office is. And you could do a drop off there. Oh, all right. Yeah, she's been there for years. All right, awesome. All right. And because like, I think it would be good for you to do a drop off because of your height yeah <laughs> yeah so it's a all bit right. noticeable good all right good Kara. <laughs> thank you you're welcome hey caro hello. hello um i've done a sort of rewrite of my pitch but i didn't have time to film it but first can i check valerie am i down on the list for the international room because i had yeah, an email saying wasn't signed up yeah we yeah yes you are yeah you okay are. fabulous okay so um I'm going to read again because I haven't had time to learn it. Okay. Okay. Hello, I'm Caro Breton, a multilingual actor with a mystical side. My languages are an alchemy of native UK English infused with fluent French, sprinkled with Spanish and a dash of Italian and Russian. I live in magical Malaga and I fly between here and my hometown, London. When travel chaos strikes, I use my trusty broomstick. I'm classically trained. I formed Shakespeare at the Globe and Chekhov in Moscow. I love playing transformative characters like Queen Margaret and Mistress Quickly on film. I'm the creepy housekeeper in the eerie mansion, a sinister presence lurking on the back stairs. I'm the angelic looking nun dabbling in the dark arts, exploring the boundaries between good and evil. I'm the enigmatic wise woman, deep within the forest, brewing you a potion of magic mushrooms. But will I kill you or cure you? Benevolent or malevolent? It's your decision. So please get in touch about your otherworldly roles. Of course, I'm a witch. Let me cast a few spells and we can make some magic together. Perfect. I love the cuts. Great. Thank Perfect. you. I love the cuts. It all makes sense now. Um, right. It's so it's so good when um you um are really um specific, right? Like right, it just helps you to get in faster right especially yeah. with a group of people like this situation i mean when you're building a relationship over a period of time with a customer then they begin to see the entire 360 of you but like yeah. when you're just pitching in front of a group of people it's really helpful to be very specific yeah and okay. i and i i thought like this i've made the sort of similar characters showed their differences yeah yes absolutely absolutely and there is a bit of that like you know witchery magical mystical thing that that is a part of the very essence of you anyway yeah oh yes absolutely I'm telling the truth I'm a witch We need more witches. I think, yeah, that's right. Have we been same coven together, Valerie, in a in a previous life? Yes, I think we might have been. I think we definitely. I always have pretend been. that I'm a witch, and then I'm casting spells on people. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, uh, Violetta and Abrick. Both of you guys. Neither one of you guys are on the list. Violetta, are you coming? Uh, yeah. You are oh. Abrick, are you coming? Um yes. In fact, okay. that's that's the question I, I was about to ask a question. It's not about the pitch. So I wanted to know if I'm still a valid you, client. Yeah, yeah, you can come. Okay. And Violetta, I'm gonna put you on here too, okay? Um oh. and then um Abrick, you're you're New York and Violetta, you want New York? 
Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Do I need an email? What? Do I need an email? Uh, I no, forgot no, to I email. Got you. I got you right now. Oh. All right. Uh, uh, hold on. There we go. All right. Uh, oh, okay. oh, and that was your question too, Violetta? Or did you want to do your uh, uh, No. I wanted to ask, oh, okay. um, I should I make my, the so the pitch uh, for the pitch rooms is one minute, right? Yes. So I should, so mine is a minute and 30. So I should cut it. Yeah, you need to cut it. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, can I share it again real quick? Yeah, absolutely. Hi, my name is Violetta Migro. Thank you for being here today. I'm an actor and you work with actors. So I'm gonna introduce myself and let's see where this adventure takes us. I play the peaceful, powerful, pint-sized monster who saves the world. You know, the eerie but endearing souls. I like to call it spook -derrible. I'm a cross between back in the day Winona Ryder and old school Sinorichi. We can't time travel, so until then, you got me. Some of my special skills are Russian being my Excuse second me. language. Sorry. That's my name is I paint in acrylics and watercolor. I'm writing multiple scripts that I plan to star in, ranging from a gothic fantasy to a romantic comedy horror. I was considered for the Munsters audition for Anne Frank in Disney Plus as a small light. The Lena Nye SAG after film described as Carrie meets Dirty Dancing, an A24 series regular, a lead in a PBS television show, a comedy series regular, and CSI, Freeform, Nickelodeon, and multiple indie leads. I'd be perfect for Wednesday, Interview with a Vampire, Yellow Jackets, Stranger Things, Chucky. I look forward to getting to know you and working with you in the future. Bye. Bye. Perfect. And people were yeah. talking about your, uh, your, uh, yesterday's mastermind, uh, Maggie brought up how cute your, uh, pitch was and people were like, oh, Violet's pitch is so cute. It's perfect. And so you were, your ears should have been burning yesterday because we were talking about you. <laughs> I was at the dermatologist. <laughs> uh, well, you were great. It was great. That was great. And yeah, after I got both of you guys, I got both of you guys are in now. Okay. So she'll add you in there. Okay. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You, I, Good. I will work on it and figure out how to cut it. Okay. Awesome. Um, Thank you. Okay. Awesome. Uh, yes. Zuzana. Hi, Valerie. Um, Hi. Hi. <laughs> um, Hi. I have a question. I can't make it to the whole event. Is it okay to just come to? Yes. But I can yes. make it. Through? Yes. Yeah. For you guys, do your best. A lot of you guys have asked me that question because you have like a wedding and or a thing, right? I get that. So um, do your best to be there as much as possible because it is designed to take you on a journey. Um, that's why we give you the dashboard. For you guys that uh, are are coming, we have the dashboard, which allows you to go to the dashboard anytime you want, enter the event or exit the event. Um, and um, yeah, so absolutely. Um, so you said mountain time. So one to three. By the way, don't forget, like in America, your phones are going to go off today in about in about an hour. Our phones are, does everyone know that? Uh, uh, in in an hour, they're running an emergency broadcast system in oh. America and your phone is going to go off. The only way it's going to be loud. So, uh, oh, it's at two. Yeah, two New York time. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's an emergency broadcast run. But like, you know, the, it's just, I just want to let everyone know. And so in case you're in the middle of something like an audition or something, just know that that's going to happen. And so, cause I'm just like, okay, it's going to happen. I'm just going to like, not, cause I know I'll jump, you know, cause it's going to be loud. <laughs> oh, Violetta said sometime between two and two 30. Okay, great. Thanks, Violetta. Okay. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Yeah, Susanna. Yes. Please come when you, when, um, uh, you can, um, yes. Uh, the pitches are at 3 PM Eastern time, which is 12 PM Pacific time and 8 PM, uh, UK time are the pitches on Sunday, just so you know. Um, we will be moving you to your room at quarter of the hour. Uh, and make sure if you are joining us that the same name that you registered with is the name that's on your Zoom. Because the person that's going to be moving you is going to be looking at a list of the name that you registered with the event with. And so... They're not going to know what room you go into if you have a different name under yours. And Toreen, I need to check something because I think Toreen, you are on the list as Brenda. You, you're on the list as Brenda, Toreen. So um, you can put Brenda. I have Brenda slash Toreen. Uh -huh. I have that. Um, but you might as well, Tori, you want to go earlier or later? Cause we're starting at the top of the alphabet. Oh, okay. Um, I don't mind. I just thought it would be a bit of a change to, you know, not be waiting for so long. Yeah. Well then you can go, do you want to just go Brenda slash Toreen? Just do okay. that. And that way, Brenda Garrick, uh, and then. Uh, you can say, you know, you can introduce yourself as Tori. I mean, that doesn't matter. Okay. Um, but you could say Brenda slash Tori and Garrett. And because that's yeah. how you are on the thing. Okay. I'll put that in the, I'll change it on the Zoom as well. So you put Brenda slash Yeah, Tori. yeah, yeah. Put Brenda Garrett, you know, because I'll be there. And as people are being moved and I'll say, oh, she's Brenda. Put her in the international room. Yeah. And so- that's fine. And then um, I'm not sure who's going to be running the international room. Um, probably, probably Scott. Either Scott or Regina is going to be running the international room. So it's going to be Sarah will be in the L.A. room and then it'll be uh, Scott uh and and regina i think are the three monitors for the rooms so each room y'all has a monitor um and they you know all the monitors are people we know and we love and really cool so they'll be really cool if there's an issue but um uh but if you want to go closer to the top Toreen, put brenda i will yes thank you <laughs> definitely <laughs> yeah chris Yes, you know, I mentioned to you yesterday that I've got a class at eight thirty on Sunday. Yeah, any... but you're you're Chris, so you'll be you'll be you're at the in the international room. You are. Uh, yeah, you you go ninth, and that okay. is if everyone before you shows up. Um. Oh. So, uh, so, so you'll be done way before eight. Do you have to go somewhere? Yeah, I'm doing a class at eight thirty in LA. You know my yeah. acting class. Right, you'll be done way before eight thirty. You'll be done at probably eight ten. Oh, great! Because it's only one minute each. So even if it was like a little late, you'll still be you'll still have like five to ten minutes to take a quick break and go to your class. What class? You know, um, he's a great acting coach. He's been around for many years. Um, Peter Frisch. I've been studying with him for two years now. Oh, you yeah. have? Um, do you know him? No. You should. I mean, I, I should ask if he knows you, for God's sake. I forgot to ask. Uh, <laughs> I will do. Um, yeah, he's, um, he's a New Yorker. I mean, you know... Um, He's got a great approach. He really has. You know, so, I mean, you know, he's old school, but really like, you know, on it, big time. So much depth in his technique. You know, I'd recommend him to 
people, if you want to study the craft seriously, then he's really great. Peter Frisch, the Frisch Approach. Oh, I think I do know that name. Okay. I'm um, asking. Cool. All right. So listen, you guys, I will see you guys all tomorrow for the last day. Post your, uh, post your um, um, pitches if you would like to. And I will see you all then. All right. Thank you so much for today. And have a Thank great you, uh, evening. All right. Bye, everyone. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.